Hello everyone, good afternoon. I have an exciting unboxing today. It's the Accio box and why I'm so excited is that it's the Luna Love Drug themed box for March. So right now I'm wearing my February t-shirt that came in the previous box and I'm also wearing my Luna Love Good Spectra Specs necklace so I'm all decked out for the occasion. Um, so let's just take a second and reflect on what an awesome character Luna is from the series. She's probably my absolute favorite character after Harry himself. So I'm excited to see what's in here. It says fragile. I hear some things moving around, shaking. So let's get into it. I have my scissors. Let's open it up. It says fragile, so I don't want to drop anything. All right, I see red paper because I am Gryffindor. Oh, okay, I see something. Smells like bubble gum. It's really sweet, and I see like a metal canister type thing. Okay. My one and only complaint about this box is that I feel like the items that you get, like in the equation with the amount that the box cost, it doesn't quite work out. But one thing I will say in their favor is that it always arrives on time, unlike some of the other boxes. So that makes me happy. Okay, so let's look at the objects in the box instead of listening to me talk. Okay, so that's the Quibbler, the Luna box. That's really, really cute. And as you can see, you know, they've got the glasses just like here. I love her glasses. I think they're such a cute little emblem. Um, and like the way they're designed, don't they look a lot like the Hamza hands, you know, from like the Middle East. It's supposed to ward off evil energy. So that's it looks like two hands like that. Um, and I was gonna tell you, um, this month, March, it was a perfect time to have a Luna box because there are two full moons this month. So we've got the blue moon on the 31st. So two moons for March. And then of course, that's a perfect time to have a Luna Love Good box. Couldn't be more perfect. All right, I'm sure you're tired of hearing me babble, so. I will open this. Okay, um, this looks like a bookmark, like a little um, magnetic bookmark. So it's got Luna on the front, and then that's her backside, and it says Accio. So that's cute. It's small, but it's cute. Let's see what this human. Oh, I have a broken candle um, <laughs> and there are shards of glass in here okay um <laughs> yeah so this is a really humongous candle oh it's called luna's room and i said earlier uh, it could smell um candy so yeah it's cotton candy and watermelon so i am going to like really really carefully try to take this out because the, the piece of glass is broken like super super carefully so what happens the lid came off it looks like both the lid to the candle and the lid to the canister that it's in so yeah we've got like a jagged piece of glass here not terribly happy about that um i guess i'd still burn the candle however i'll put it on a plate or something so it doesn't like the wax doesn't melt all over the place Okay, if it wasn't broken, I would probably be a whole lot happier. Oh, wow, there's like glass everywhere. Okay, so this is why I saw in the spoiler. I thought it was going to be a cup, but it's actually a candle with her little glasses. It smells really nice, and I got a candle. Actually, I have it right on my table over here. It was from the October box that I ordered like after October. 
these candles last forever it's from the same company um they're soy i've been burning the the one it's got the dark mark on the on the front i've been burning it forever and it still hasn't burned all the way down so i mean that's the pro side but i really wish i didn't have like shards of glass all over the place um so i'm a little concerned about that um so i'm definitely gonna have to like put this on top of a plate so the wax doesn't go everywhere and yeah it's a little dangerous i think um besides that <laughs> besides the fact that there's glass in the box and the canister um it's a nice candle i just wish it wasn't broken uh it's got a little lid which of course won't work because it's broken have i said that enough yeah and i have shards of glass everywhere <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, if you're moving, if you're shipping out something's mail, blast that. You know what they should have done? Okay, sorry to harp on this so much. Okay, so there's a lid for the, for the candle, and then it was in a canister as well, and there's a, yeah, there's a top for the canister. What happened is the lid came off and then the lid for the canister came off and so the glass, the candle like came out of the canister and obviously broke at some point. What they should have done is just tape this shut. They should have put like a rubber band or something to make sure this stayed closed and that probably would not have happened. And so now I just have little bits of glass everywhere which is not a very nice experience. So yeah, just a little more forethought and you know, make sure everything's nice and secure. It probably would have made this a much more pleasant experience and I wouldn't have a broken candle. So, yeah. All right, <laughs> besides that, I'm enjoying everything. Okay, um, this looks like some sort of bath product. I think this, this box is like very charming. I like the the things that I find in it. I I have like a water bottle from an older box and I use it all the time. I think like the the items they put in it are very very witty, but I feel that it's overpriced and yeah, like I wasn't wasn't crazy about having a broken candle. Like I realized that could happen. You know, when you're shipping things, you know, things can come broken um but just like a little more thought into the packaging i think would have like totally avoided that okay so this looks like a luna bath bomb and this is i think we had something from this company before love good bath potions all right and there's a um, there's a discount code if you want to order anything else. So this is handmade. It says sweet orange and strawberry, uh, sweet almond oil, coconut oil, Epsom salt, baking soda, cornstarch. So it's all natural. It's got a little bit of a sweet smell, kind of like fruity, candy sort of sweetness. That's cute. I have another bath bomb from them. Um, I think it's from the Christmas box. Their Christmas box was amazing. Um, that was a really good value. It cost the same of every, as everything else. And like you got so much more stuff. So I think what I'm going to do, I have one more box coming. I ordered the three month subscription. This was in my box as well. It's a little Gryffindor thing, I guess. Um, I, I don't want to receive their boxes anymore after this three month subscription. So I have one more coming. I think what I might do is just sign up, uh, again around Christmas time. My birthday is in October. So I think I might, um, get like October, November and December, and then maybe get their Christmas box as well. That I don't think I want to subscribe like all year round. Okay, so right now we got a bath bomb, a bookmark, and a pretty big candle. Mine happens to be broken. Okay, this is super cute. I've gotten a paper doll from them before. 
This looks like it's gonna be a Luna paper doll. I have one of Voldemort, so of course I totally prefer getting a Luna one. Yay! Oh, this is really cute. Super, super cute. This is something, you know, I will probably totally display, put on my bookshelf or something. I almost don't want to take it out of its packaging, but let me show it to you. Aww. And these paper dolls have all the little bendable parts. So yeah, you can move her arms around. Okay, so she's got the, the quibbler. It looks like maybe, can you take this off? Yeah. She's got her little lion head uh, from when she goes to the Quidditch game. She's got her glasses, her, uh, her little radish earrings. And oh, this is her, her little bottle cap necklace that's supposed to ward off the nargles. Super cute. I, I love this. I think you can maybe even take her glasses off. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that I like this paper doll, of course, much more than the Voldemort one. Super, super cute. And I love Luna. Um, I just wish my candle wasn't broken. That, that did not put me in a very good mood. <laughs> I'm sure you can understand. Okay, so yeah, this is really really cute um i will totally put that up somewhere so we got that got the book bookmark got the bath bomb and then this looks like a decal or something it says you're just as sane as i am her most famous lines Oh, that's cute, and it's on a radish because she has her little radish earrings. I'm not sh let me let me read the little um, little spoiler here. Let's see what that that last thing is. Some sort of decal, but I'm not exactly sure what you do with it. We thought March would be the perfect time to pay homage to one of our favorite witches in the Potterverse. Luna isn't afraid to dance wildly to the beat of her own drum, and she's a true friend who always sees the best in people. She shows an incredible amount of bravery in the resistance against the Death Eaters, and even when things seem bleak, Luna never loses her optimism and sunny disposition. We hope you love this month's box as much as we love Luna. Okay, so the candle is Luna's room, and that is valued at $28. It is a really nice candle. I don't know if I would pay quite that much, especially since it's broken. <laughs> All right, um, this, let's see what this thing is. This quote of Luna's serves as a good reminder that what counts as normal is completely relative and maybe not all that worth striving for. Anyway, these beautiful dried leaves are surprisingly collected from sacred fig trees in India, and then each one is painstakingly painted by hand, so no two are exactly alike. We commissioned these just for Accio. Hand-printed leaf print. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, so I guess this is just a little protective. Oh, I didn't notice that first. Okay, yeah, this is actually a leaf. And it's just put on this, uh, like a black piece of paper, so you can like frame this or whatever. Oh, that's really, that's nice. So yeah, you know in the fall time, um, I don't get to see as much here in Miami, but you'll see like the dried up leaves and they have like their little like leaf skeleton. That's what this is and then they painted. So that's, that's actually really nice. Um, so yeah, I think maybe I will put that in a little frame. All right, and then we have the the paper doll, which is really, really cute. And then we have the Spectra Specs Fizzing Bath Bomb. The paper doll is worth 15, and this is uh, valued at 12. And then we have a little magnetic bookmark, and then this is valued at 350. 
And then, yeah, this actually is one of the items in the box. This is a friendship bracelet, and I got the Gryffindor one. I thought this was, like, just part of the packaging or something. But yeah, it's a friendship bracelet, and they say it's worth $2. Okay, so, of course, I love anything to do with Luna. So, you know, I am happy about all the things that came in one piece. Um... I think I will send them an email and tell them that my candle was broken and see if maybe they'll send me a new one or something. Um, hopefully they will. Um, yeah, I'm happy. And April's month doesn't have an exact theme. It's just going to be a little bit of everything. So I'm curious to see what that's going to be. And I'm actually happy they... I feel like there's one more item in here than there usually is. I feel like sometimes I've gotten like maybe three or four items, which seems like a little small. So we got the candle, we got the print, we got the uh, paper doll, the bath bomb, and the bookmark. So that's like five real items. And then like I count this as like half an item. So at least there's five things that seems like better than they've been doing in the past. Maybe they've been listening to my criticism. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and um, sorry I've been a little negative about my broken candle but I am pretty disappointed about that. Okay so let me email them see if maybe they can do something for me and um, I'll give you an update on that and see how that turns out. Um, until next time I hope you have a good St. Patrick's Day this weekend. Have a Guinness for me and I will probably See you again sometime next week. Till later. Au revoir.